So other Nigerians have continued to react to President Mohamed Buhari's comment on those who plan to snatch ballot boxes. The president's comment has triggered arguments among senior lawyers with some, with some pitching tents with the president to say only those with the intent to snatch ballot boxes will be afraid of such remarks, while others felt that such directive, if carried out, would amount to extrajudicial killing. The danger is that it may even affect people from coming out to vote. So other people, bad people, can also exploit that opportunity, use it to deal with their own enemies or purported enemies. They can set up some people, deal with them ruthlessly, because the president has said anybody can be dealt with. And, and, and for their defense, which, which defense anyway will not set them free? Because the law is still very clear on what to do and how to go about it. So if you go and follow the dictates of the president, you run yourself into trouble, catastrophic trouble indeed. It's a question of time. There was that holy anger that the president had to express, you know, by making the you know the statement he made that those who do that, who carry guns to to ballot uh, uh, polling units and then do all manner of uh, manipulations and and then scare and even wound people, will not be allowed to go scot free. They will pay dearly, because actually, if you are armed, if you are armed, it, that is clearly an an, an armed robbery offence. Come and snatch ballot boxes. Can you that person be regarded as a thief? It's not ordinary thief. It's an armed robber carrying ballot boxes, snatching it, you know, while armed, you know. So to me, he's saying that those guys also will, be, will, be, will pay dearly with their life because at the end, if you are caught and you are investigated and you are prosecuted, it is no longer going to be termed as ordinary ballot uh, snatching or ordinary uh, electoral offense. It will be regarded as armed robbery. And for that, we will not depend on for armed robbery.